What's up everyone? I'm Jake with the Good Smile Company web team. Today I am here with Kenji, the creative producer for the Doom figures here at Good Smile Company. Hello. And today he's going to be giving us a look at Figma Doom Slayer from Doom Eternal. Let's take a look. Figma Doom Slayer, he comes with a crucible blade, the super shotgun, chainsaw, BFG 9000s, all these hand parts, doom uh, extended doom blade, and this part that you can use um, to extend his equipment launcher. Awesome! That's a ton of parts that I'm sure fans of the game will be super happy with. But BFG 9000, any chance of a Figma BFG 10000? Actually, coming? actually, we're working on a deluxe version. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's joking. full size, yeah, it's actually. Full size. <laughs> it's realistic it's, scale, yeah. so you can actually like sit on it <laughs> and um, open a hole on the, on the surface of Mars. Of course, yeah. No, it's it's not happening. Darn right. it. Yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I tried. But still, I mean, even without a BFG 10,000, there's tons of parts here, tons of weapons that I'm sure fans are going to be super happy with. Let's take a close look at these, because there's so many details on here that you can't quite see just from looking far away. Yeah, see, here is the Crucible Blade. You see the insignia uh, on the blade. Just super detailed. Each and every character on there is etched in there. And this is just a prototype, right? This isn't even yeah, this what is... it's going to be when it comes <laughs> no, out. Not at all, not at all. We're still uh, working on it, so... Yeah, it's a prototype and um, actually the final model. It will look cleaner than now. Sweet, yeah. So, I mean, what you're looking at right now, as awesome as it looks, it's going to be even better when it actually comes out. So, look forward to that. And uh, can I explain the rest of the weapons? Yeah, go ahead. So, this is the Super Shotgun and it's upgraded as you can see to the doom eternal version yeah um here's the meat hook <laughs> the meat hook the meat hook yeah which is a of feature course. i really like about <laughs> uh the new super shotgun lots of good memories with the super shotgun and here is the chainsaw uh, we also added this unique design which reads dope saw on <laughs> his chainsaw <laughs> and also with this uh chainsaw has a little bit of weathering. Mm -hmm. so. Here is the BFG 9000s, looking glorious. Um, we made sure that these glowing parts look like it was actually glowing. Um, it does not have a uh, light up function, but um, because there's a little bit of um, gradation going on in these uh, lit up areas, it looks like it's yeah. actually glowing, especially uh, when you display it in a little bit of um, dark room. I have so many memories with this weapon. <laughs> <laughs> it always got me out of a pinch whenever I felt like I was going to die. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and Doom Slayer also comes with numerous hands uh, to hold each and every uh, one of these weapons. Yeah. And one of the hands that I absolutely adore is his thumbs up oh, hand. Oh, it's a thumbs up. <laughs> If you've uh, played Doom um, numerous times, you know <laughs> what this means. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about articulation. Yeah. Right, uh, because this is still a prototype model, it's a little stiff and um, it will be improved in the final um, product. At this point, his arm goes up till about this. His arms will extend it like this. Go. So these going to be those double ball jointed Figma shoulder, exactly. And sorts of things. Cool. Um, there's a mechanic uh, incorporated, so you can a uh, pull out his shoulder a little. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From. Oh like yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see right here, so it's. It helps uh, when you're posing it with the BFG and the other weapons. Mm -hmm. And moving over to his head, mm -hmm. actually, he looks up. Oh, wow. Now, this, yeah, there's actually a lot of um, articulation on his head. So yeah. He looks up a lot. He also looks down a lot. Mm -hmm. And you can pull it out and make it look like he's, you know, rushing towards somewhere, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great for action poses for sure. Exactly. I like that. 
Okay, so so for his legs, uh, you can fold it till about this, mm -hmm. and we made sure that the design wouldn't like look too weird in order to um, incorporate this amount of articulation, mm -hmm. and also. Um, his knee pads have a little bit of articulation, so he can pose it in a way where he can um, hide uh, the knee gaps mm -hmm. and the joints a little. And his foot has articulation as well, so it's really good for kicking pose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course. Now his, belt, um, his belt is actually broken into three pieces. Mm -hmm. If you take it, take these parts a little bit, um, it actually gives a lot of um, room for his leg articulation. Mm -hmm. so, oh wow! It would go up about this high, mm -hmm. which is a lot considering his character design. Yeah, that's insane. I didn't even think at first about the belt part needing to be articulated, but to get those leg up poses for kicking and stuff like that, that's super important. Yeah, of course. Doom Slayer does a lot of um, action in the game, so mm -hmm. we absolutely made sure that this was going to be a super articulated version mm -hmm. of uh, Doom Slayer. Kind of like the front, he has a lot of um, details going on around his spine and his backside. Mm -hmm. And this is his chest, mm -hmm. which has a lot of uh, molds and um, weathering all over his chest, so it looks very detailed. Mm -hmm. So, Fingman Doomslayer yeah. is a big boy. He's massive. Compared, He's to, massive. <laughs> compared, to, compared to other Figmas. A, uh, the average size Figma, so yeah. this is about, you know, um, an average size of Figma. Yeah, we have the Figma archetype, archetype next. Right. He flesh color version yeah. here and to compare. Yeah, comparing yeah. comparing like the average uh, Figma is like comparing like a teenager to an actual adult. To, to Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> He's huge. He's huge. His palms are huge. His helmet is huge. Um, look at his biceps right there. Compare them; it's totally different. And, his <laughs> and he's, chest he's muscular too. He's muscular too. I mean, too. the archetype is a very muscular build, but, but compared, compared to, to Doom Slayer, Slayer yeah. I don't know. He's he's loaded. The um, ideal, okay. the ideal male form. The ideal <laughs> male <Truly>. form. <laughs> and here is Nindroid <laughs> Doom Slayer, yeah, which compared has, to another recent release. <laughs> Which has already been uh, released. Yeah. Uh, very cute. The Figma looks great on its own, of course, and with other Figma, other Nendoroid figures too. You can display them with, uh, of course, Doom Slayer or perhaps your favorite dog or something else. Yeah, something else yeah. that we can't feature in this promotional <laughs> video, but I'm pretty sure you guys know what you're talking about. You know. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thanks so much for giving us a look at Figma Doom Slayer from Doom Eternal. He comes with so many parts and weapons that I'm sure fans of the game are going to be super happy to get their hands on once this figure comes out. The figure is available for pre-order right now, so be sure to pre-order at the Good Smile Online Shop, Good Smile Online Shop US, or a Good Smile Company Partner Shop before the pre-order deadline. You can see the deadline somewhere on screen here, so be sure to get your pre-order in before then if you want to lock in your pre-order. Also, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more content like this. And go ahead and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram for the latest information on all of our newest figures. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.